you've caught me in my shed again. This is my Virago long-term project. It's a, it's a bit of a bike, it's a bit of everything. Um, there's RD bodywork on it and wheels from an XV S 1100, which have been modified and a total bits of wheel on the front and bandit front end and some custom headlights and clocks and what have you. Um, I've done a couple of paint jobs on it and I've not been happy with the color. So I finally settled on doing a candy paint job. And so far, we've got the uh, silver base down on the tank and the back panel. <clears throat> I'm yet to do the side panels and the front mudguard. Remnants of old paint jobs on it. Don't worry about that. My concern is, and it's quite a big concern, if I can get it to go in here, that's probably the wrong way round. Let's get it the right way around. There we go. When it sits in there, this is very nice. I custom made this, my God. But the edge of it is... Well, let's take it back out and I'll show you the edge. It's just one sheet of metal thick. Which means the paint will flake off of that corner once it's painted. And I do intend doing a nice paint job on here, but I don't want the paint flaking off that nice corner, so I've got to make it thicker. Well, I don't want to make the whole mud guard thicker, so I'm just going to make the edge thicker. You see, if I look in my scrap bin, what have we got here? Should do it. So the idea is to get this round rod and weld it around the edge all the way around and hopefully make this proper thickness so the paint won't end up falling off of it. So there we go, I've taken the paint off all the edges so I'm able to weld the round rod onto the edge without paint being in the way. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap just there, but I can close that up. I'm just bending that slightly. This one wants to go down that way slightly because it's slightly, slightly proud.
have to weld this on the middle and then try and work it round because bending that bit before we put it on is I just think it's a bit too much bother and I'll be bending forever and ever and ever whereas if I put that on there I can use the fender itself as a jig and a little spot of weld on there first Lovely. So there it is, I've tacked it into place, ground down the tacks, and it's pretty good, it's not far off, a little bit of grinding needed, but now I've got an edge that, won't, that the paint won't, hopefully won't fall off of. Now all I've got to do is fill in, fill in the gaps with some more tacks, more tack welds. So that's the rest of the welds done. I'll give it a grind back now and see what's left. There's probably nothing left that needs welding. It'll just uh, it'll have to have a skim of filler over it to get get it smooth. So any little tiny pinholes that are left, there's a bit of a hole there. Um, they'll just get filled with filler. Little tiny ones. We'll see. We'll see once it's ground back. There we go, I've uh, sanded it back. And I must admit there's a few little holes. I am not the best welder in the world, but nothing a little bit of filler won't, won't sort out. Tiny little holes. But apart from that, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not bad at all. And there it is on the bike. You see, the paint's not going to fall off of that edge now. So all it needs doing now is a little bit of filler. And then I can get on with the paint on the mug guard and finish this paint job on this bike. And there'll be more from this bike in other videos. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.